I'm blown away by how good this looks. All the buzz right now in the AI image world is all about ChatGPT's latest update, and it's deserving because it is fire. But most people still don't know what specific prompts to use to get those mind-blowing AI images. Well, no worries, because today in this video, that's exactly what we're about to do. But more specifically, I'm gonna show you the exact prompts you actually need to use. And so make sure you stick around because these are gonna blow you away. And so quickly to start, we're gonna head over here into my mega prompts database. For amazing prompts databases with nonstop updates and lifetime access, click the links in the description. But if you do have access to this database, you'll notice something new. So what you'll notice is up up here in the tabs right now i'm in ai images then free pick ai influencers prompt generators but right over here in the middle there is a new one called chat gpt update and this is where i'll be adding all of the prompts and a ton of future prompts specifically for generating images in chat gpt and if you don't have access to this database no worries because all the prompts you see today in this video will also be shared completely free via the links in the description but with that said let's just get right into it but for the first one this is going to be a recipe infographic now i chose my images to be of chocolate chip cookies but if you follow the same exact guideline your infographic image is going to look so impressive okay so here we are over in chat gpt and here's the full prompt right here now all you have to do is just replace my specific specific ingredients with anything else of your own. So for an example, right now, I chose to use peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, okay? And I just made up some fictional ingredients I actually don't even know if this is right or not, but that's not the point. The point is how good this infographic image is actually gonna turn out. So let's go ahead and paste the prompt and generate it. And now look at this right here. This looks incredibly realistic, clean, everything I was wanting. But the most impressive part to me is gonna be the text. Everything is spelled accurately. And again, the other important thing, take a look at the top row, specifically the eggs. These ingredients look incredibly realistic. And if you like it, just hit that download button. And now there it is. Okay, now moving on to the next one. I've been seeing a ton of people have fun with these. This is going to be a prompt where you can create a customized action figure of any particular person or superhero. Okay, now here is the prompt right here. In this instance, I chose to use Snoop Dogg. And now here we have it. Here is the full image right here. And again, impressively done how the text is 100% spelled accurately based on what I provided it. Very impressed with this one. Okay, so now for this next one. This is one that you can really take to the next level for your creativity and specifically for your brand and brand kit and marketing. And so here is the full prompt right here. And one of the most important things you wanna keep in mind is when it comes to this, you need to go ahead and add a few different reference images. It's not necessary, especially if you wanna create something completely from scratch. But in my case, I went ahead and uploaded three files, my logo, my slogan, and another logo without any lettering. So you could see it all right here. That will be my full logo. Here is another logo type with just the icon. And then again, my slogan right here. Create a full brand kit sheet based on my attached logo, slogan, and my color scheme. Make your output a clean bento box style design. Outlaying all examples. Use Poppins font. Here are my gradient colors, a few more adjectives to really make it look clean, innovative, and modern. And then more importantly, for my actual mock-ups, I want to have a few items, stationery, hat, coffee mug, t-shirt, and a layout of my colors with the actual hex codes. So okay. while that one is thinking, let's move on to the next one very quickly. I'll show you that prompt and then we'll come back to see how our brand kit turned out. So now this next one, again, another impressive thing that you're gonna be able to do. As you can see on your screen right here, what I specifically did was I went to Apple's homepage and I just took a screenshot of a couple of rows. And I basically said in my prompt, use this tech website as a reference and create a homepage for a modern startup company. Now this one already generated. Wait until you see the final outcome. As we scroll down, there it is right there. And now keep this in mind. Everything is exactly what I wanted, except for the very top portion. It just says a consulting. Now, I don't know if it should be AI consulting, but nonetheless, everything else is right. And then again, at the very bottom, it's going to give me the examples, but I said specifically, I wanted it to have icons. Now, using this same exact style, I've seen other people on X utilizing a very similar prompt get their final results looking like this. Now, again, the same similar style prompt will actually create great looking web pages just like this, but it's all based on the actual prompt 
that you feed it. Now let's go back and visit our brand kit mock-up and see the final results. Now again, for reference, there are my three images for my mock-up. Let's go ahead and scroll down and look at the final product here. I mean, I'm blown away by how good this looks. Everything is great. The color scheme is perfect. I got my pen, I got my stationery, the hat, coffee mug, shirt. And again, right down here below, there are my colors and the actual hex codes that go with it. Now, if I'm gonna grasp at straws and be a little bit picky, it didn't get my logo 100% accurate. That's because up here in the top left-hand corner, there's a space between the graph right here and no space here. And on my business card, the mule, kind of looks a little disoriented. However, this is not the easiest prompt to follow, especially since my images may not be that easy to understand. However, based on what it did give me, the mock-up is a great starting point to where I can now take things further, but this is a great test and it actually looks clean and modern, the main thing I was going for. Okay, now moving on, this is another impressive one. What I did was I went to Canva and I went ahead and created this grid that you see right here. And in the grid, I just gave it some basic instructions for a product of nail polish. And based on the prompt I'm gonna provide ChatGPT, you're gonna be amazed with the final results I end up getting. All right, so back over here in ChatGPT, you can see there is my grid, that's the one I made in Canva that I uploaded. And the actual prompt is again, very simple. Using the grid provided, create images for each style for the nail polish product. And to be completely fair to ChatGPT, I actually did mess up this prompt pretty bad because not only was I supposed to upload the grid, I was actually supposed to also upload a photo of pink nail polish. I forgot the pink nail polish, but let's see if ChatGPT could still work around that and understand exactly what I meant. Okay, so this is another testament to how impressive ChatGPT is because the image is done and look at this it knew exactly what i meant look how awesome this actually turned out is the text spelled accurately just about i see one error but for the most part and because of how much text is in here one small letter is a drop in the bucket and easily fixed okay now for our next one Again, very impressive, but now we're gonna be toggling the fine line if this is something we should actually do or not. And what I mean is the next prompt I'm gonna share is actually one where ChatGPT can do a very good job generating fake documents. And I went ahead and already generated the image, but here is the full prompt right here, okay? And now I've seen people do this with a number of things, from airline tickets to bank statements to cancellations, whatever you want. But I was very basic in mind. I could have made this a lot more detailed to get an even further accurate boarding pass. But I basically said, generate a photorealistic screenshot of a United Airlines boarding pass. I put in all of this fictional numbers, fake seats, and time of arrival, but the ultimate end result is very impressive. Let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at this, and then there you have it. Look at this. Here is the boarding pass for United Airlines. Most importantly, the level of accuracy and realism is incredible. This is all identical to how a United Airlines boarding pass will look. The font, the logo, the icon is everything United uses. Okay, now moving on. The next one is actually pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and take an image, any image, and I'll just say transform this image into a Lego style image. Here is my original image. It's just a good looking photo of a modern home. Again, AI generated. And I just said transform this image into a Lego style image. Here it is right here. Look how awesome that is. And look at that. That is so good. I mean, it even got it right all the way down to the actual furniture, the pool. Amazing. Okay, now let's go ahead and wrap this video up by just quickly showing you some cool prompts to use, specifically in getting some clean, crisp, and modern style of icons. And now I've used prompts like this before in other apps like Midjourney, Leonardo AI, and FreePick, and it all does a pretty good job. But for some reason, again, here on ChatGPT, this prompt and this image looks so realistic. Let me go ahead and take this prompt like this, copy it, open up a brand new chat in ChatGPT. And now instead of saying email copy, I'm going to say row of Apple products, copy icon, phone, iPad, AirPods, iPhone, VR headset. Now we'll give it time to generate. We'll come back in a second and let's go back and look at another couple prompts. But now look at this prompt right here. Now I did something similar, but this time I wanted actual real icons of social media companies. And here is the prompt. iPhone app style collection of the most popular social media icons. Okay, okay. but now look at this. It looks like our row of Apple products is done and again, amazing. Now, the VR headset, identical. The only thing it didn't get right is it gave me an icon of a MacBook instead. And now again, that 
that could be just my user error with the prompt. I could probably reprompt it a little bit and actually make sure I get that MacBook as a real product. But nonetheless, for the most part, this is incredible. Okay, now one more to kind of wrap things up. Very simple prompt again. Now, just a minimalistic 3D illustration of an iPhone, soft shadows, and again, another perfect one for an icon. And now last but not least, this image right here was mainly just for a tester because I wanted to see how good of a job it could understand text. It took the word archive and it actually made that look like a real archive in the image with like those books in that dimly lit room. But notice this, the font for Grand Theft Auto is identical. Very impressed with everything that we've looked at today. Okay, so there you have it. Some awesome prompts and images that you can get in ChatGPT's latest update. I'm sure I'll have a lot more videos like this because the more and more I utilize this new update, the more prompts and images I definitely wanna share with all of you. If you like this video, please remember to definitely hit that subscribe button I'll be making a lot more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.